outside. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Raining cats and dogs? What does that mean? Hey everybody, Boytek here, your go-to idiom guy, here to talk to you about the meaning of raining cats and dogs. Before we begin though, make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you never miss a chance to learn a new idiom. The exact origins of this idiom are unknown. However, it is believed that it has its roots in Norse mythology and medieval superstitions. The first uses of phrases similar to raining cats and dogs were in a collection of poems written by a British poet, Henry Vaughan, in 1651, which referred to a roof that was secure against dogs and cats rained in shower. In 1652, the English playwright Richard Brom wrote, it shall rain dogs and polecats in his comedy, City Wit. Nowadays, when we say it's raining cats and dogs, we mean that it's raining very heavily. If you wanted to use this idiom in context, you could say, I heard it's going to rain cats and dogs all weekend. Or, it's a good thing we went on holiday last week instead of this week because it's raining cats and dogs over there at the moment. In summary, we use raining cats and dogs to describe heavy rain. Have you got a similar expression in your language? If so, we'd love to hear about it in the comment section below. That's all for today. I hope this was helpful to you. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more, remember to like, share, subscribe. Until next time, keep on language learning.